I have my multimeter here. Let's see if we can troubleshoot what's gone wrong, why, and why am I... I can do it. I can do it. This is so frustrating. It's because we're going through the open ocean and the current. Life has been super, super crazy busy lately and I've known that it was mushroom hunting season. Welcome to this week's episode. My name's Flossie and this is my tiny home, Siren. Get yourself somewhere comfortable. Tap into your imagination. Join us for the highs and lows of our winter adventures. got out of bed and today I'm going to the ocean. Morning everyone. Today's plan is to load up a couple kayaks and my diving gear and I'm gonna go and jump in the ocean in a place that I haven't jumped in. I've only jumped in once before so like exploring new parts around the island and finding places to go for a swim is fun and I'm always looking for rocky shores that have some depth to it. Places with sand have less visible life than rocky places around the coast. I literally cannot believe that it's the middle of October and it's still warm enough to have the back doors of the van open in the morning when the sun rises. And I'm just wearing like a light jacket. It's so pleasant. Like, I love this weather. It's sad for the trees though, because the fish, the salmon, all need rain. There's fires that have been concerning and a little close to home lately. And I think. It feels like the seasons have shifted by a whole month. June was really rainy, October has been really nice. Well, October, September and the beginning of October. This is odd. I mean, they say climate change is real and I believe it. I go down to the bay at dusk in winter. In a strange skin, not fish nor woman. And let my body walk away from its life. This moment here, that moment gone, no matter.
That alarms ring, the mornings struggle on. I walk into the sea with great relief, that my earthly self will not stare back at me, that my skin, now electric with salt and pure cold, brings me to a wilder place of belonging. In the company of seals and starfish, all eyes and whiskers, all rays of tangerine and mauve. Here I sing to the great Neptune of this wet sanctuary. I am here, I have arrived, without burden or restraint, ready to swim into my life, now clear, no cloud, nor fear, nor loss. your heart. Who knows how long crossing the bay, weather beating from the southeast. Rollers like unconditional arms hugging and spraying, the ledges and footholds with their kissing. The crossing then becomes a mirage currents pulling, then tide and wind taking us further from shore. At the midpoint our limbs abandon the struggle and we flip like dolphins knowing all creatures invisible beneath us open their mouths to pray. Our fears drift by in their tiny canoes, waving us on, now under the influence of the sea. Is it the love that loves through us? And where is your heart, if not in the sea? I have my multimeter here. Let's see if we can troubleshoot what's gone wrong. Why? And why? Water pump. And my sink is not going. My water is a key need. I need this to work. Okay. Oh. This is the switchboard that the pump is connected to. I've been meaning to disconnect the pump from here and put it through its own separate relay to the battery. So these are lights. And here you go, now you can see. The rest of the system still works. This is the pump switch. If I turn it on, that is supposed to give me water. And we have no water. It's nothing to, nothing to do with this. Pump is down there. 
and I'm going to work backwards from the switchboard to check all that electrical. So the first thing we check, the light is on. I have checked this, this is a 15 amp fuse and it is currently fine, there's nothing wrong. But I'm going to check the behind this with my electrical cord, check we have power. Wow, oh, look at me go, I'm having the best time. This has definitely got charge, so I was like, oh, I can't find a reading. My freaking multimeter doesn't work. I've tried every setting on it. And the little needle isn't moving. So I can't test it with that. My next option is to disconnect the pump from its current electrical source, connect it to this via these, and then see if the pump will run off this power source, and then we will eliminate from there. I have turned all the 12 volt power off. We are disconnected, and in here I have got the negative positive wire that is connected to the pump. I am going to cut it up here, so not to interrupt with anything else. Connect it to this little battery here and do a test and see if this pump will run off this power so that we're isolating the wiring. If it's the pump is still working off here, great. If the pump is not working off here, then I have to undo the pump and have a look at the electrical or the connections, which I really don't want to do. Fingers crossed this works. I have so much better things to be doing than this. I really just wanted to be working on getting the van winterized and ready, making sure I seal a few more things. And instead, I am making sure my water pump works. And I didn't even install it. But I, I mean, I did do the electrical, so we're starting with the electrical being the problem in the beginning, because that's the thing that's a me variable, not a them variable. This feels weird to be doing. Right, now I've got to split both of these ends so I can separate the negative positive and test it. Ah! So I have split both ends of the wires. That end there and this end. So now I just take the casings off mark the negative and positive and then we try it with this battery to see if we can make this stupid pump work i can do it i can do it this is so frustrating so i have both my wires for the pump, I have marked the negative and positive, so the negative's got the black wire on. Now I'm going to hook it up to this to see if it works. Wow, it works! Oh, oh my gosh! That's so good! Okay, so the problem is the electrical. I've been meaning to run a wire from the bat from the pump directly back to the battery system. <sighs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. Oh my gosh, what a relief. The pump still works. The thing that I think is happening is my electrical panel up in this cupboard here uh, it should really only be used for lights. The water pump has too big a drawer and I need to run it straight back to the batteries directly and then put a little switch in between. I'm going to leave it now uh, to use this car battery, jumper battery for now to use the water because I need to get some extra wiring and a switch. Oh my god. What a relief. Okay, the battery, the, the pump works. There's nothing wrong with the pump. Hooray. Uh, the lights all still work fine. Um, I will tape off the wires that come for that switch box, switch block, and just not use them at this point. There might be a need for a, a 12 volt 
little fan which will have a much much lower power draw than this pump and that will be fine or should still be fine to run through that block if that switch still works the what the light still turns on so where it's stopped working I don't know um, but I'll just not use it for now I don't believe that poses any fire hazard and at least I can now still use frickin' water. That's a relief. Wow. What a frickin' roller coaster. Life has been super, super crazy busy lately and I've known that it was mushroom hunting season for a bit and haven't been able to escape to the forest proper. I've been dealing with installing of my propane tank and some other local work pet sitting that I had to do. So I think I've missed it. Um, with the summer extending all the way to the beginning of October, I'd assumed that maybe the mushrooms would grow a little bit later, but they'd probably, probably not, or just came up and popped up and gone. So it's that th weird thing of if you are foraging, really keeping an eye on the seasonal weather and then checking multiple times as the season progresses checking and some spots may just stop producing that's the nature of it might go dormant and the mycelium just stops fruiting i don't know but regardless this is not a time wasted i'm really enjoying this forest walk it's beautiful in here <sighs> feels very calming for my nervous system which is always a win if you ask me Stand still, the trees ahead and the bushes beside you are not lost. Wherever you are is called here. You must treat it as a powerful stranger. Mushrooms. Must ask permission to know it and be known. The forest breathes. Listen, it answers. I have made this place around you, and if you leave it, you may come back again, saying, here. No trees are the same to a raven, no two branches are the same to a wren. If what a tree or a branch does is lost on you, then you are surely lost. Stand still, the forest knows where you are. You must let it find you. So we're living lunch tonight. I have a piece of fish on the fireplace. And then over here is tonight's mushroom roll. I think the lobsters are pushing it. But there's some beautiful chanterelles in this pile. Some yellow ones and white ones. Well, it's lobster mushrooms in the color. Yeah, I mean, I'll let you taste some. Oh, dinner's almost ready. Mushrooms. A beautiful piece of fish. Straight off. Yes. Ta-da! I can't wait to eat it. Yay!
everybody! It is a sunny day today and that means, as you know, I'm thrilled to get out and do stuff. I have started cleaning up my kitchen. I've got some jars of uh, tomato relish I made and another one here in the pot boiling that's tomato sauce. And I've got a whole lot of green tomatoes I'm going to process today. Oh, it's just so nice to feel alive and excited about stuff. Oh, boiling! Ooh. I'm going to do one of two things. I'm either going to go and pick rose hips and hawthorn berries, or um go and find some wool so I can make another octo hat. I'm definitely making another octo hat this winter. I don't know uh, if it will happen to start today, but I'm gonna do it. And you can see over here, I've got my fire on and there's some water boiling to, for my morning hot chocolate and breakfast. But yeah. It's nice to feel like I wanna go out and get out and do stuff. And I think that's cause the sun's out. Oh, I'm such a sun motivated being. It's such a beautiful hedgerow. It's just full of berries and roses and I'm starting to collect a small bag. I'm not planning on processing very much. This is my first time really working with rose hips. So I'm gonna start slowly, but it's just so beautiful and the sun is just about going down. Okay, here's a test for you. Spot the difference between the red rose hips and the red hawthorn berries. It's a hawthorn tree. And they're beautiful. I'm making another two octo hats like this guy um, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to give them away to you guys on YouTube and so when they're done I'll let you all know post pictures of them and I'm thinking keep this in mind for future okay you post a comment telling me why you need the support of octo hat and we will pick the best comment for this person who needs Octohat's love and support. Yay! The soft stars are shining, the moon is alight, the folk of the forest are dancing tonight. Oh, swift and gay is the song that they sing, they float and sway, they dance in a ring. Oh, seek not to find them, the wee folk so fair, they're shy as the swallow, 
and swift as the air. If you come, they are gone, like a snowflake in May, like a breath, like a sigh, they vanish away. There's magic in them here, woods. I broke off a dark twig and lifted its whisper to my thirsty lips. Maybe it was the voice of the rain crying, a cracked bell or a torn heart. Something from far off it seemed, deep and secret to me, hidden by the earth. A shout muffled by huge autumns, by the moist, half-open darkness of the leaves. Awakening from dreaming, the forest there, the hazel sprig, sang under my tongue. Its drifting fragrance climbed up through my conscious mind, as if suddenly the roots I had left behind cried out to me in the land I had lost with my childhood. And I stopped. Potatoes I made earlier. Rose hips. Salmon and rice. And then we get the sauce. So cozy. Delicious. Salmon, rice, and potatoes with green herb and walnut. I guess you could call it a sauce. I just got out of bed and it started snowing. I've just lit the fire and it's five degrees Celsius in here. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs>